So here we're going to look at how we add our first box into the page. So we'll start simple and we'll start at the top. We're going to start with text. So you can start with a blank page completely or you can start with the theme. Um, you may not have to add text boxes because you might just decide to edit the existing text. And that's why these themes exist. So if that works for you, don't change it. There's a professional graphic designer who's put this together. So why not just think about what you want to incorporate on that particular page uh, and put in your text and then change the photos and then add a few links to how you want the links to, to navigate around the website, which we'll talk about later. And you've got your website. Why bother to reinvent the wheel? But if you want to change things spe uh, specifically, then you may have to add more text, reduce text, or you can you can add parts of the text box and you can change the, the layout. So you can change the color, you can change um, the color of the text, you can change the whether it's bold or whether it's normal. Um, you can add links, so you can select a bit of text and add a link. Um, so you can do that to each individual box and to the text, parts of text within each individual box. But it will have a default setting, which will be set in theme. And I would suggest you don't want to change and have all sorts of different colors, all sorts of different font styles, because it starts to look a mess. So, um, But if you do want to change a theme for everything, you can change it. Uh, you can change it here. So you just go to um, go to the theme, set the theme up, and then all of your headings, all of your body, all of your blog post headings um, will all be set to that theme. But that's why I suggest you do the theme first and then edit the text sparingly within each box by changing its size or maybe making it bold or not bold. Okay, so I'm just changing that theme back to approximately what it was before. As you can see, the changes we made with the going bold and with the underline and with the color, they remain. So we've, we're changing the font size and everything, but the, the changes we made to the default will remain. Okay, so then we want to get back out of theme and back into Builder. If you want to delete a box, just click on the little box and then hit delete, and that will delete the box. Um, and the same with any of the other boxes, windows, spaces, everything. If you want to move it around, the uh, the, uh, the little block in the middle, uh, you, the plate, you grab that and move it around. Now, as you can see, you can decide where you want to drop. This is the body text. Do I want it to go to the right, to the top, where the blue line is? underneath or to the top underneath features or above you can change this select where you want to drop it and it'll drop in full width so once it's in full width you can then decide whether you want to have one or two columns or three columns or four columns i'm going to drag another body text in that'll go above that'll be full width above if i go to the left see the little blue and drop it there now i've got two columns so i've got two text column boxes and in between there's a divider bring a third one in drop it to the left again. We've got three columns. They're all equal sizes. Okay. And we can fill those up with text as we like. Now we can change the size of the columns by dragging. As you can see, it's a bit clunky. So if you hit shift and then select, you can do a nice smooth drag. Okay. So that's select and then shift. So you can set up how you want it all laid out and then you just put the text in and you insert the text. And then of course, depending on how much text you've got, you may have to play around with the columns or, play, or, or add a bit of text or take out a bit of text or change it down to two columns instead of three so that the columns are balanced on the page and look good. So you can either edit the text that's already there or you can add additional text boxes or you can delete text, or you can delete text boxes. Um, you can move the text around. When you move it around, bear in mind that if I was to drag the, the box I'm typing in now, if I was to drag that down, the entire box, um, it would go underneath the other two columns, and it would you'd end up with two columns and then one full-width text box. Um, 
with the text that's in there again you can change it bold italic underline change the color um, you can change the size of the text by going up and down with the plus and minus uh, and again the hashtag just remember the hashtag so so you can see it's it's um, really straightforward and simple um, adding links we'll go into adding links later and show you how to do that but you just select the amount of text you want to add a link to click on the link decide on the link that you want to to be to use and then it's done but I, i'll talk you through that a bit later on and then we've got layouts we've got alignment left align right align center justify um and then um you can take away all format if you want to so there's a uh, bullet points and number bullet points so there's you've got various options within the text box that you can use plus uh the header etc okay um I would recommend that when you're setting out your page, when you've got, for instance, a blog post, you'll have a title and then you'll have the body of the text. And SEO, um, any any web crawler from um, from a search engine is going to be looking at the header that's marked as header, and then it's going to be looking at the body, and it will expect the header to be a precy of what the body is talking about. So um, just bear that in mind when you're setting out your web page anything that where you're bringing in the header text should be header text and not just random text it should be the header to something uh, a title you know in other words okay so if you delete one of those three boxes it's going to go to two columns so it'll delete one of the columns and you end up with two equal columns on the page okay and if you delete another one you'll end up with one column and you can drag those columns around wherever you'd like. Okay, now I'm going to put a spacer in. So a spacer underneath that text or above that text or to the left of that text or to the right of that text. And when I drop the spacer in, it will basically act like a text box and push the text across. It'll do the same with images and anything else. So it's basically just pushing whatever you want to be on the page to one side or the other. Uh, and as you can see, that's made, we've got one column of text, but we've pushed it across the page. Um, you can do the same with, um, with any image or with uh, any other um, box insert. Um, 